Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a versus video, the IYV ILS 300 Let's Paul copy versus the Epiphone Let's Paul. And we're going to be comparing it to the Let's Paul Standard 60s at $599, round that off to $600 for the Epiphone. And we will say this guitar is right around 200 with change. Yes, the Epiphone is a better made guitar, but does it necessarily play better? With the Epiphone, you're going to get better tuning keys, you're going to be getting better pickups, you're going to be getting better quality wood. Um, the wood they get is probably from the American forest, I believe, versus I'm not sure what they use in Vietnam. It's going to be indigenous to the region. That doesn't bother me a bit. Wood from a different country from across the world. I love it. That's fantastic. When I was a kid, you know, the shortwave radio to hear somebody speak a different language, you're like, wow, we didn't have the internet. <laughs> shortwave radio, whoa. But the true story is, my landlord, I'm not going to mention any names, we'll use a fictitious name, we'll call him Wayne. He had a $600 Epiphone Les Paul Standard. And I go, I just bought the IYV Les Paul. He goes, let's check it out. So I played his Les Paul, the Epiphone, and it didn't play like my other Les Pauls. I'm not really sure. I've had three Les Pauls, Sunburst, Ivy Tuning Keys. I've had the Paul by Gibson. Basically just the raw version of the Les Paul. I've also had the Fretless Wonder. And this guitar plays as good or better than any Gibson except for the Fretless Wonder. Without a doubt. Especially for the price. One thing I like is they don't use the heavier woods. I'm getting up in the age, near ancient. I need a lighter guitar. I even heard that Steve Howe has had some of his guitars modified lighter than the Gibsons because they are heavier guitars. According to the internet, a lot of people think that Gibson literally just copied off Gibson with a Les Paul guitar. However, since Gibson owns Epiphone, the Epiphone Les Paul is a real Les Paul. Now, if you put the same wiring pickups, bridge, etc. on the Gibson frame, it would sound like an Epiphone. But if you used higher quality electronics on the Epiphone, it would sound better, but it's not going to sound like the Gibson. The Gibson doesn't use the same woods. They use a higher grade mahogany, actual maple tops instead of the veneer. They use less pieces. So the Gibson truly is the better guitar, and it's going to be heavier. I can compensate for that with lighter woods at $200. You can easily afford to upgrade the pickups and make them burn them, whatever you want. As far as the tuning keys, I've also changed those out. That was, you know, 50 bucks, low cost. Sometimes it's easier to buy things as you go instead of, you know, some people don't have $2,500 to spend on a real Les Paul by Gibson. That's why they go to the Epiphone line. Epiphones are generally, the highest one is $900. And you can get them as low as $379. They even have a starter version. Uh, let's see, where's that? $399. $149, you can get a Les Paul Express. That might be interesting to buy one of those for $149 and see how that stacks up to the higher price, $200 IYV Les Paul. But when my landlord, Wayne, played my Les Paul, the next day I saw him, I go, I'm on the porch because that's where he keeps the guitar. I'm like, where's the Les Paul? He goes, I returned it. What? He goes, yeah, I returned it. After he played, 
the IYV, he returned his upper bone. That's how great this guitar played. Three days later, he's got a $2,000 Gibson Les Paul. Let me bring it back down. Let's do the dust. Well, the Gibson didn't play any better than the F1. It's not going to play any better. That's not what makes the difference in the price of Epiphone versus Gibson. They both play fantastic. Gibson owns Epiphone. They don't say, hey, let's make the Epiphone play crappier. <laughs> you know, they cut the cost in the electronics, the pickups, the switches, the toning, you know, the woods. As far as the neck, they're going to play the same. It's not going to matter. So that is the comparison between IYV and Epiphone. This guitar plays better than, and I have heavy gauge strings on here. It's not, it's not the gauge of the strings that's making this guitar play easy. What's making this guitar easy is the fact that IYV, Vietnam, using CAD machines and electronic CCD machines, they are making perfectly made guitars. The finishes is great. Is it is a perfect mirror finish as you're gonna see on the Gibson? No. I would say the Gibson's finish might be a little bit better. Depending on which model you get in the custom department, it might be a lot better. But what do you expect for two hundred dollars? I didn't expect to get a finish of this good. I didn't expect to get a guitar that played so easily and so flawlessly. It's fantastic. And it's not difficult to upgrade the pickups. Throw a couple Seymour Duncan JBs in here. It's going to change the tuning keys on just the one. I kept the. No. I'm losing track of what the hell I'm doing to these guitars. <laughs> I changed the tuning keys on both because I had them on the other one. Otherwise, I would have left that stock. But this guitar, I changed the volume knobs, changed the pickups out, I changed the switch, all electronics. I don't think I changed the jack. I did on one guitar because it went bad. I'm not sure if he changed that out or not, but I don't know if that actually even matters for sound quality. But at $200, you've got room to put the pickups you want in it. You know, go to Seymour Duncan, go to the Margio, go to Lawler. There's, you know, these are light pickups compared to some of the pickups they make for heavy metal. They got some heavy metal pickups that are just brutal. Um, and again, both guitars, the playing, it's flawless right out of the box. I don't think I even touched the action. Um, one of these days I'll take it down to the shop, have him set it up. And actually, he did set it up because he put the pickups in this guitar. I did not change out the electronics myself. Um, P80 Music here in Scotia, New York, very reasonable, outstanding service. Prices you can't beat. So, IYV versus Epiphone versus Les Paul, it's all money related. Um, with my landlord, the biggest thing is not how well the guitar plays, but the prestige of having the name Gibson. I tried to explain, I'm teaching him guitar. And when I gave him some lessons on beginner guitar, it was basically how to tune a G chord, a couple pentatonic scales, and he said, I've learned more from you in the last half hour than I've learned in the last year. And I was like, wow, that's great. You know, it makes me feel good that I'm teaching somebody, they're picking it up and they're understanding it. But goes out and buys a $1,500 guitar amplifiers that are 
he had the spark amp and got rid of the spark amp. It went from a small practice amp to a big giant Thunder Twin, and it's you can't even play a G chord. So you're buying all this equipment ahead of what you're doing. It's like buying the roof of a house before you buy the foundation. Try to explain it's not how much you spend on a guitar, especially when you're learning. You don't, you don't go out and spend $3,000 on a guitar to learn a G chord. You could if you want. But this guitar here for $200 is going to play the G chord as good or better than the Les Paul. So I don't know if we're getting too far off track here or not. But the moral of the story is, with today's computer electronics, basically all these guitars are almost all going to play fantastic on today's price. It's not like decades ago where the old cheap guitars were old cheap guitars. And I mean, you bought a $200 guitar and it's, it sounded like a $200 guitar and played like a $200 guitar. Today, there's various companies, IYV being one of many, that makes an outstanding fantastic super so easy to play guitar at a price where you can easily afford to upgrade to any electronics that you want and if you spend two thousand dollars on a guitar chances are you're going to probably like the pickups in it they're going to be great pickups but it doesn't give you the choice of modifying it for the sound you like because you've already spent so much money on it so for two hundred dollars I've got one stock, I've got one modified, I've got the ILS 300s on my hollow body guitar. That is another truly awesome guitar. I might buy another one of them and upgrade the pickups in it. And that's what's fun about buying cheaper guitars is I have a lot of very variants of where I can go with pickups on them. I'm not worried about, oh geez, you know. About a Les Paul, and you know, I got to keep the pickups in it because you know it's twenty five hundred dollars. I'm not going to go out and spend six hundred dollars on pickups for a new set. I'm not that rich. I am a popper, but I do like to play with guitars and modify them to get different pickups. El Miola made the DiMaggio pickups famous. They were so hot. That's what I was going to stick in this guitar. I don't know why I didn't, because I've had DiMaggio's in the past, wanted to try something new, something different. I heard a lot of people talk about the JB pickups. Yeah, they got a lot of great reviews. So, gave it a try, and I love them. Got the bridge pickup, got the neck pickup, various tones. I'm not going to change the pickups on the stock IYB, because that, again, doesn't sound bad. It's got a different flavor. They're using CNC pickups on it. CNC pickups on it, so it's a great pickup. So all I can say is it's could be mind over matter, but the IYV versus the Epiphone for the money is a fantastic, great, awesome guitar.